Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top 10 blushes and ranking them. I wasn't planning to rank them actually, I was just gonna share my top 10 with you, but I thought it would be kind of a fun challenge for me to rank them and this was not easy. It does not feel right putting these one over the other, but I did end up ranking them and I'm gonna share that with you today and my top 10 favorites. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I am posting every day in December, so I hope you'll stick around and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get into the blushes. Okay, we're gonna start with number 10. I feel like nothing should be number 10. It feels wrong to call this number 10 because I love this blush and I love all of these blushes, so just keep that in mind, I love them all. But the blush that I decided would be number 10 is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in the shade Rosy. So first of all, one of the main reasons I'm ranking this last is because it only comes in one color, which is just very annoying. The formula though is very good on this, very, very good. So this is like a light peachy pink and it's beautiful. Like, I don't even know if it'll show up there on my hand. I have some self tan on right now, so the swatch is probably not even gonna do it justice. But I wish they would come out with more shades of this. I love the formula. It's a good blush topper, I would say, especially if you have a bit of a deeper skin tone. It's not super, super pigmented. So when I use this, I typically will use it over a liquid blush or a cream blush but it's a beautiful formula. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not glittery or anything, but you definitely can see a little bit of radiance in it, but it's a very beautiful color. I do think the tone of it, this peachy pink, is a very universally flattering tone. They just need to do different shades. We have one shade and this is not going to work for a lot of people. So it is coming in at number 10, but I do love the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush. Number nine is kind of a newer blush to my collection that I really love and it's from Maybelline. It's the Fit Me Blush in the shade 20 Mauve. This blush is very similar in formula to the Neutrogena Healthy Skin, but this one comes in multiple shades, which is why I ranked it a little bit higher than the Neutrogena. This color in particular I love because it's pink, but it's also a little bit purpley. It almost has like a lavender hue to it. So that is it right there. It's very blue toned. It's it's a blue toned pinky purple is how I would describe it. And it does, like the Neutrogena, have a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's not a flat matte blush, but it's not glittery. It just has a little bit of luminosity to it, which I love. Again, it's a very sheer formula, or this color is at least. I don't own any of the other colors, so I'm not sure how it compares to the other shades. But this color is, again, kind of a topper for me. So a few of these blushes that I'm going to mention, I often pair with a liquid blush or a cream blush. And when I do that, I like to use a formula that's a little more sheer and it's not going to be too much if I apply it over the top of something. So this from Maybelline falls into that category for me. It is very beautiful. I reach for this quite a bit and the tone in the shade 20 mauve is so good. If you like that light pink blue toned color, you would love this. Number eight is from Hourglass and it's the ambient blush in the shade Sublime Flush. Now what I like about this is this color Sublime Flush is kind of a combination of the Maybelline and the Neutrogena together. So you can see in the Hourglass blush, you get that pinky purpley color, but you also get more of a peachy pink kind of swirled in there and you get that luminosity. So it's kind of the best of both of those blushes, 
which is why I'm ranking this number eight. This is a combination of those two and it's beautiful. If you're familiar with the Hourglass Ambient Powder Formula, it's very, like the name suggests, ambient. So it's kind of an ethereal, sheer, very healthy glow kind of look. It's not a super intense pigmented blush, but for that reason, it goes over the top of pretty much anything and it adds just a little bit of color and a little bit of luminosity. I learned about this particular color from Melissa Herkman, one of my favorite makeup artists. She is predominantly on Instagram and TikTok, but she always talks about using this color on clients as a blush topper, and I totally agree. I pair this with all of my favorite cream and liquid blushes. Number seven is one of my favorites for spring and summer in particular, and it is the Bare Minerals Blonzer in Kiss of Pink. So this was actually one of their originals, and then these were so popular that they relaunched them earlier this year. They were supposed to be limited edition, but then they did end up bringing them back. This is supposed to be a blush and a bronzer. I don't really see it as a bronzer. However, I do think it's pretty enough. The tone of this blush is good enough that I would wear it on its own without bronzer. This is the perfect, I've been to the beach or outside and got a little bit of a burn, I guess is what I would say. So that's Kiss of Pink right there. And again, has a very similar finish to the Neutrogena and the Maybelline and really the Hourglass. This one just has a little bit more pigment to it. So like that's the swatch of it there. It has a little bit more oomph to it, I guess, than the other three. So I'm ranking it number seven. This is the perfect sunburnt blush. So if you like the whole like W blush trend that I feel like kind of goes around every spring and summer. This is the most beautiful color. It is just the perfect pinky coral. It does come in two sh other shades that are darker. One is more rosy and one is more copper. This blush, I will also say, lasts a very long time. I don't know what it is, but every time I wear this, it's not a blush that fades. And I often wear this one on its own. I don't usually pair this with a cream or a liquid blush, but it lasts very well. I just don't reach for it as much this time of year, which is why I'm ranking it a little bit lower. If I did this video when it's warmer out in spring and summer, I probably would have ranked this a little bit higher. But right now I am ranking this at number six. Number six is from Persona and it's their bubble blush. This, I mean, look at the color. This color is just very unique. It is, again, that really beautiful blue-toned pink, but this one has much more pigment to it. It's much poppier than the other blushes that we've talked about. So you can see it there. It has definitely almost like an electric pink pop to it. I definitely would wear this cautiously and wear it on its own. I would not, probably wouldn't pair this with something else unless you use an extremely light hand. Honestly, when you wear this, this is like a showstopper type blush. Like this, if you wear this, you're going to notice it. It's going to be the focus of your face, in my opinion. This is perfect, perfect for the cold girl look. It's going around right now. I know you've probably seen it. It's been all over Instagram and TikTok. This is perfect for that. This also comes in a cream version and a stick. I like that one too, but I find that I reach for the traditional powder in the shade bubble just a little bit more. Very similar to Dior Backstage Rosy Glow or Bobbi Brown Pale Pink. This one has a little bit, I was gonna say it has more of a lavender hue to it, but I don't know that it's necessarily lavender. It's just poppier. Like to me, the tone is very similar to the Maybelline one down here, but this one is just more vibrant. And this one is matte, I would say. It is not, uh, it doesn't have a sheen, it's not shimmery or anything. So it's definitely a true matte blush in my opinion. If you like a pink blush and you like a definite pop of color on your cheeks, you need bubble from okay. We're getting into one through five now and 
I have probably rearranged one through five like close to 10 times at this point other than my number one. My number one was a very easy number one for me. So let me know if you think you know, comment it below. I'm wearing it right now. Let me know what you think. But number five is from Makeup by Mario and it's his soft, is it the soft pop? Yeah, soft pop blush stick. And the shade is Dusty Rose. So you may remember when I got this and tried it. I think it was in a video a while back and I loved it instantly. The formula on this is very good. It's very pigmented though, so uh, you do have to be a little bit light-handed with it, but I will say it's very easy to blend out, which is good. If you have a more pigmented cream blush, I like um, something that's really blendable and easy to kind of sheer out if you go a little bit overboard. These do have a brush on one end. I don't really use the brush that comes with it, but it is there if you want it. This color though is such a beautiful rose and I find that this color goes with a lot of different makeup looks. I feel like you can wear it with something more warm or more cool. It's I would say a pretty neutral rosy color. Every time I use this and every time I see this on other people, I just saw a video recently from Nikki LaRose here on YouTube and she did a full face of makeup by Mario. She wore this blush and as soon as she put that blush on, I immediately thought, oh my gosh, I need that. What, what color is that? And then I realized it was the one that I already have. Dusty Rose. So if you like a rosy blush, this is a bit more of, I would say like a wintry color for me. I don't know why I say that. I just feel like rosy mauve colors are more of a fall winter thing for me. But I also feel like this would be very flattering on a lot of different skin tones. I do typically prefer a compact style over a stick, which I think was kind of one of my reasons of ranking it a little bit lower but the formula and the color on this is okay. number four. This one may surprise you that it's number four and not a little bit higher on the list, but you'll understand when you see number one. So number four is Patrick Ta in She's Blushing. So this is one of his newer colors and I Love this. It is very similar to uh, Dusty Rose from Makeup by Mario. So here is Makeup by Mario. Here is She's Blushing. So you can see Makeup by Mario is definitely a little more rosy. Um, this one is more of like a beigey rose. It's not quite as pink. I, you know how I feel about Patrick Ta blushes. I love the cream and the powder formula. I love the cream on top of the powder, the powder on top of the cream, and I love that you get both in this little compact together. I think that's the most genius thing. And you get the little flap like you do with all of his cream and powder products. I just love, I love the brand as you know, but this color is beautiful. I didn't rank this higher just because I do find sometimes this color on my skin tone can be a lot if you go in with too much and they do blend out but they are, this one is pretty pigmented so I feel like I have to apply it a little bit sparingly. However, I love the color. The color is kind of like Dusty Rose and that it goes with so many things and for me, the Patrick Ta formula is just 10 out of 10. I love it so much. I have almost all of the colors and I recommend them all the time, as you know, if you watch my videos. So number four goes to She's Blushing. Number three may surprise you because this is a very new blush to my collection. In fact, it may even be my newest blush. And I'm already, I'm obsessed with this one and it's from Merit and it's the Flush Balm in Cheeky. Okay, I did a video talking about this and I mentioned that I had tried the Merit formula before. I had a different color and I remember I, I didn't hate it, but I wasn't like blown away by it. So they, they did send me this blush by the way, but I got a new color and it's this one, which is the shade Cheeky and this is it here. So do you see, it's kind of like um, these two, but a little more mauve -y, a little more 
almost like a purpley pink. I, the second I put this on for the first time, I said out loud, oh, this is gonna be a new favorite blush. Not only is the color so good, but the formula on this, if you're familiar with the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, the cream bronzers, he calls it Skin Enhancer. It's really just a really sheer cream bronzer. That formula, that really thin, creamy, almost buttery-like formula, that's what this reminds me of. Very similar, again, to the Merit Cream Bronzer as well. It is so thin. I mean, honestly, you could not mess this up. Like, I just put this here on my hand. I mean, you barely touch it and it's blended. It is that creamy. It just blends right into your skin. It is a bit of a dewier formula. I do think it looks very, it just makes your skin look very hydrated, healthy, glowy, all the things. It's not glittery. It's a perfect everyday blush, in my opinion. It's easy to apply. You can use it with a brush or just brush it right on your face. I love it, but in particular, I love the shade Cheeky. So number three is Merit Cheeky. All right, number two is one you're probably waiting for me to mention, and it's from Rare Beauty, and it's the shade Happy. Now, I have three blushes from Rare Beauty. I have Hope, Encourage, and Happy. I also love Hope, and I love Encourage too, but there is just something about this Happy blush, you guys. I know you've seen this. You've definitely seen this somewhere on the internet. It's been all over the place. It is such a beautiful pink. It is a warm yet kind of cool pink. So interesting. I feel like they describe this as like a cooler pink, but to me it has a little bit of warmth to it. It is the dewy formula from Rare Beauty, so it's more of a luminous blush. It's not one of the matte colors, but every time I wear this, I without a doubt, get somebody asking me what blush I have on and it's happy. It is so good. You don't need to pair it with anything. It doesn't need anything. This is just, if you like a bright pink blush. Now, if you don't like something bright or very intense on your cheeks, you're not going to like this because even with the smallest bit of product, you get a very pink cheek very pink look so if you don't like that you're not gonna like this i would get maybe one of the lighter colors or kind of skip i would say probably skip the rare beauty formula in general because they are very pigmented and you can they can go wrong very quickly but when you apply this sparingly the right way this color is everything so number two is happy and number one pause the video if you know what number one is comment it below and yes, it is one of the blushes you've already heard, but in a different shade. And it's Patrick Ta in She's That Girl. This is what I have on today. And I, I feel like I've been talking about this color and this blush since, I don't even know, probably close to the beginning of my YouTube channel. But everything about this is perfection. The formula, the color, you get the powder and the cream. Today I have the powder on first and then I have some of the cream over the top but this color every time I use this color I'm like oh my gosh I know I say that about all of them but this one in particular okay it's there so it's a very bright pink but it's not quite as bright as happy or bubble from persona it's a little bit more muted it's just a little bit of a warmer pink it's not quite so blue toned which I love the blue tone too, but this is more, it just goes with everything. Like today, I have it on with pretty neutral makeup. It looks great, but even when I have on a more colorful or less neutral makeup look, this pink is just, it just goes with everything in my opinion. I love this one so much. If I didn't have any of those blushes, I would still be happy because I love this one that much. So my number one, my ride or die blush is she's that girl and again another thing i want to say about this too quickly is because the patrick ta formula has the powder and the cream i also feel like the longevity on these is really good because as most of us know blush tends to fade the quickest on your face so 
a lot of times I'll go heavier on blush because I know that it's not going to be there all day. It's going to fade away. I love that you get the cream and the powder with the Patrick Ta formula because that kind of helps lock it in whether you do powder or cream first. It's like two layers of the same color. So it just helps it last a lot longer. I filmed another video earlier this morning and this blush, I have not touched it up. It still looks amazing. Highly recommend always this one from Patrick Ta. All right, you guys, those are my top 10 blushes ranked. Let me know if those were what you thought they were going to be or if some of them surprised you, let me know that too. And comment your like favorite blush right now or a few of your favorite blushes if you have a lot of them like me. I love blush. I know a lot of us do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have everything listed and linked below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you.